There were so many problems with our relationship, though, so many issues. The major one, though, was that her friends didn't like me. And as a guy, if a girl's friends don't like you, you are screwed. There is nothing you can do. Because it's like laws of the animal kingdom. Girls, they're like a pride. They're gracious. They look after and nurture the weakest of their group. Guys don't give a shit. They will kick out the weakest to rot in the sun. <laughs> and if you want to observe this happening in all of its beauty, the savannah, if you will, is the airports. When you see groups of girls and groups of guys going and lads and girls on tour to like Ayanapa, Ibiza, Magaluf. And it all starts in the airports with the tour t-shirts and the tour hoodies that they've all had made up. And you see the girls first, their little wheelies, <laughs> with their little nice, neatly ironed pink hoodies that they've had organised months in advance, <laughs> with little nicknames on the back in glitter. Except with girls, it's not nicknames, is it? It's character building. They will find any positive about their friends and celebrate it. It's incredible to see. You'll see the group of girls, and then at the back, there'll be this 300-ton hunk of ham with like a gammy leg. Chins growing out of areas you didn't even know a chin could grow out of. She reaches herself round to see whether there's still a queue outside Greg's, and on her back in glitter, it just says, Angel Eyes. <laughs> You can't deny her eyes are gorgeous, they follow you around the room. Yes, because one of them is lazy. <laughs> Next to them in the queue, you've got the guys, and they're just clawing over a bin liner full of T-shirts, all desperate to get the one that says Shagger. <laughs> and then they start dishing them out amongst their friends, except with them it's not nicknames, it's character assassination. With no wit or reason to it whatsoever. It's just like, dick splash, head, tip face. <laughs> Some poor guy in a wheelchair getting forced into one that says Top Gear. It's cruel. <laughs> He's not even part of their group. <laughs> and they get on the holiday. It's no different when they're actually on the holiday. Like groups of girls when they're on holiday, if they're sunbathing on the beach, right, and one of them falls asleep in the sun, they'll wake them up. That's what they do. A guy wouldn't dream of doing that. <laughs> you see the girls, it's like, Angel Eyes, Angel Eyes, wake up, you've fallen asleep in the sun, you're burning all over your shoulders. Girls, quickly, let's get some suntan. Look, we're going to need more than that. Come on, girls. <laughs> a flight. We're looking out for you because we're BFF friends forever. <laughs> Further on down the beach, Oi, what's Jay doing? Shh. <laughs> He's fallen asleep <laughs> in the midday sun. Oh. Wow. Should we put some suntan lotion on him? Yeah. I'll draw the balls, you do the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's very funny, isn't it, Hammers with the Bolo? Laugh it all up. <laughs> that will take weeks to go. <laughs> I love travelling as well with no language barrier. That's what's great about being here. I went to Spain recently. It was a disaster, OK? I went to this restaurant. I needed to go to the restroom. I don't want to go into too much detail, but I needed to drop the kids off at the pool, all right? <laughs> so I did that, right? I go to flush. It doesn't work. I flush again. Still not working. Five, six, seven times I try to flush this thing down. It will not go. So I'm like, I'm going to do the right thing here. I'm not going to do a hit and run. I will go out and inform a member of staff that there is a problem with their facilities, all right? I go into the restaurant. I find a waiter. Unfortunately, I don't speak any Spanish. He doesn't speak a word of English. I end up having to kind of gesture to this man. I'm like, yes, could you just come here? No, yes, leave them alone, sir. Yes, just follow me. Ici, por favor. Yes, just in here. Yeah. I managed to usher him into the restroom, right? I pointed at my poo. I went to flush. It went down straight away. <laughs> How weird did I look? Like I just invited a waiter into the restroom to say goodbye to my turd. Come on, let's give it a proper send off flush. Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. I looked insane. Wrong. I love hotels. I love staying in hotels. I mainly love staying in hotels for the same reason that we all love staying in hotels. I love stealing from hotels. <laughs> And I'm so good at it as well. I've got it down to a fine art. Because they've got their little tricks now, haven't they, to try and stop us from nicking their <laughs> Like you go into the bathroom and they've got the shower gel mounted onto a wall bracket. Which is why I always take a drill. <laughs> <laughs> or the little passive-aggressive notes they leave around the room. Have you been into one of those hotels recently? I was staying in one the other week. I opened the cupboard, they've got this. Look. If you would like this robe, it will cost you £30. Mm. So I nicked it and left that. <laughs> uh... The worst invention that mankind has ever created.
Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the hotel conveyor belt toaster. <laughs> no one in this entire 10,000 strong arena has ever made a decent piece of toast on the hotel conveyor belt toaster. Unfathomably and handily fitted with a small window so you can witness your misery play out in slow motion. First time through. Still bread. Second time through. Barely warm. Third time through, burnt to a crisp! <laughs> there is literally no setting to get it right. It's like putting a ginger on a sunbed, it's impossible. <laughs> Passport control, that's another. Can't do it. And I don't have anything to hide. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help that I have the creepiest passport photo that has ever been taken. <laughs> People looking at me thinking, you've got a bad passport photo. You have not seen anything yet. Brace yourselves for this shit. What is that? I mean, like I've just taken Liam Neeson's daughter. Yes, very funny. Benedict, we can all read. So every time I approach passport control, that is in my head that I'm about to hand that over. It does not excuse how much I fall apart under the most basic of questioning. I walk up, I'm like, hello, where are you traveling from today, sir? France, no, Spain, Shit. sorry, Italy. Don't know why I said that. Didn't sleep on the plane, drugs didn't work. Not drugs like drugs, drugs. I mean drugs like sleeping pill drugs. I don't have any drugs on me, I promise you, I'm not a mule, don't look at my bottom. I have explosive diarrhea, not explosive like a bomb, Shit. Just said bomb in an airport. Well, it's just a word. The more you say it, the less offensive it becomes. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, it's like a song. Bomb, 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 bomb. I'll stop saying bomb now because you're all looking at me like I'm a terrorist. I promise you, I'm not a terrorist. I'm just Jack, plain old Jack. Hi, Jack. Not hi, Jack. Here's another one I've never understood at airports. Why do people think it's acceptable to cut in line at airports? Never acceptable to barge the line, all right? Some people think there are exceptions. Like if you're late. Not an excuse. I was waiting to check in in the airport the other day. This woman comes barging to the front and proffers this bullshit. Sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, sorry. I've got to get a flight. <laughs> well, no Sherlock. We're in a airport. Why do you think I'm here? To buy a big Toblerone? Please, let me get out of your way with these bags, which I just take with me everywhere. Back of the line! <laughs> Is what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, as I'm British, that came out as, Please, after you, dickhead. So I've been up for three days on this stag do, and I'm in Berlin Airport on the way home, and I'm stood in the queue for airport security, and I put my hand into my pocket to take out my passport, and instead, I withdraw a single edible weed gummy. Ooh, dear. I look around for someone to dispose of this thing. There is nowhere in immediate sight. For a brief moment, and it crossed my mind for like a second, I looked in front of me, and there was a child with an open backpack. I didn't, because I'm not a monster, and I couldn't distract his mum. So, <laughs> so I was like, reluctantly, I think this is going to have to go down the hatch. So I swallow this thing. Now, I'm a little bit of a novice when it comes to the old edible marijuana. These things are incredibly strong. It hit me like a freight train. <laughs> By the time I was at the front of this queue, I was so high, I could have flown home without the aid of an aeroplane. <laughs> I knew I was in serious trouble when I was stood in the body scanning machine, legs akimbo, arms aloft. I was like, why is it not scanning you? <gasps> it's not scanning you, because it knows that you've got drugs in your belly, you naughty boy. 
I then realized that the actual reason it wasn't scanning me is because I was stood, legs akimbo, arms aloft, in a regular metal detector. <laughs> It was at that point that I heard a German voice shouting at me from behind. Das ist verboten! Now, I'm no linguist, but I was pretty certain it wasn't the German for, have a nice day, the lounge is over there. <laughs> I turned around, the security official is pointing very aggressively at my midriff region and shouting something in German. I realized, with hindsight, he was pointing at my belt. He wanted me to take my belt off. Unfortunately, I was so high, I didn't even realize I was wearing a belt. For some reason, in that moment, I thought that he was pointing at my trousers and I thought that he wanted them off. <laughs> I was like, wow, these German security officials are awfully thorough. But I went to a Catholic boarding school. If a figure of authority tells you to drop them, you f***ing drop them. <laughs> So in the middle of Berlin Airport, I began to slowly start pulling down my trousers. He did not like that one bit. If anything, it made him even angrier. He started shouting more. He was like, open, open. I've Googled it. It's the German word for up, as in pull your trousers up. I don't speak German. I thought he'd shouted open. I was like, this has escalated. <laughs> The most worrying element of this story is quite how compliant I was. I thought in that moment that a security official wanted to anally cavity search me in front of everyone in the airport and I put up no protest whatsoever. He literally just had to shout open once and I was assuming the position, preparing for entry. Well, if that's the way it's gotta go, Fritz, that's the way it's gotta go. Stick a pinky in there first if you would call me old-fashioned, but I need to be wooed.